our taxi driver told us that there's a viewing point about five minutes walking from the restaurant. The view from here is magnificent. Look right behind me, you have the Misty, you have the Pichu Pichu on that side, on the other side you have the other volcanoes. It's free, it's easy to get, and there's no reason why you shouldn't come here. It's close enough to the city, you see those two domes, that's where downtown is. Oof, it's nighttime. We're back. Alfajores. It's something very popular here in Arequipa as well. In this store called Antojitos de Arequipa. Very popular because it has all these type of alfajores. We're gonna buy some and uh, take them home. money that you had the better the room that you get in the monastery and that was because your family one donated more money and two gave more money for you to be part of this rich families will always get daughters to be a nun because that meant that they will go straight to heaven a few interesting things about this is that one there's still nuns here um, about 20 Two, if you live in the same room as another nun you have to have some kind of family ties to it. So your cousin, niece, aunt, sister, whatever it is. Third one, there were up to 500 women here at once. I think with this great lightning and this beautiful courtyard, I'm going to say goodbye to the monastery. This was a beautiful experience. Uh, definitely a must here in Arequipa. Try to come at night or at least from six to eight so you can see the sunset. The monastery changes its appeal around that time. This is pretty much the end of the tour. Let's go drink it. Gaston Acurio is a Peruvian chef and he's a master. And he, not alone, but him and a few of other chefs are the ones responsible for putting Peruvian cuisine in the global market. <laughs> This is not a cheap restaurant. A dish is about 60 soles, which is, could be up to like $15. Some of them are $20. While this is really good, it's also quite expensive for Peruvian food. I'll tell you, the food is great. I've been here before. But is it a must? I don't know. I would rather get you to eat a lot of street food than come to just one fancy restaurant. The city's sleeping, and so will we. It's been real Arequipa, I love you. Full of great people, great food, and great attractions. If I was you, I'll spend a little bit more days and go to Colca Canyon. We're leaving to Lima tomorrow. I can't wait to be back in the ceviche capital of the world and see my friends. Have a good night, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, or whenever you're watching this vlog. I hope you enjoy Arequipa as much as I did. Hasta mañana love you come visit now ciao